Hi everyone, today we're going to look at PLC Fiddle. Now, PLC Fiddle is an online editor and simulator right in your browser for PLCs and PLC ladder logic in particular. Now, it will enable you to create simple PLC ladder logic code within your browser. It's an ideal way to understand PLC concepts for your industrial automation needs. Now all the basic PLC instructions that come with most PLC units have been incorporated in this virtual PLC software. Now PLC Fiddle is currently in an in a early stage of development, but it's uh, functional enough to uh, give you a good understanding and learning about PLC concepts. Now we'll be looking at the software and creating a few common basic circuits. Uh, and using the, the simulator, we'll test our circuits and monitor our PLC programs um, that as we change things, we can see it happening right on our logic. So this is my basic screen that comes up when we enter uh, the PLC Fiddle uh, URL, which is www.plcfiddle.com. And it basically has uh, three different parts of this uh, software. You'll see here that we have variables and control on the left hand side. This is where we'll actually create variables and monitor and actually turn variables on and off. We have our instructions where um, we can add different elements to our ladder logic. You can also um, add new rungs or subtract new rungs from our ladder. And then we have our ladder and simulation area. This is actually where the program can be read and monitored to see exactly what's going on within the uh, control or our circuit itself. So we'll go back to the um, PLC fiddle. And the first thing we'll do is actually we'll turn on um, our start button. And when you see right here, as soon as I turn on the start button, it turns on. It turns then the motor on, our contact over here, and the motor latches in. So we can, we've just simulated our motor turning on. We can turn off the stop button and the motor stays on by our ceiling contact that we have right here. We can then hit the stop button and the stop button then bypasses or stops the flow from left to right here and uh, turns off the motor. And we turn that off and then we go back to the very start again. So that's our basic simulation for our start stop, which is a default that you'll see when you call up PLC Fiddle. Now this is an absolutely free software, so uh, uh, take advantage of, of it. It's very nice. So let's uh, add another couple of variables. And then in order to add things, what we do is we um, click on them and then we drag them down to the uh, rung that we want. You'll see that we have now a blue dash line. We let go of the mouse button and the variable stays. So here's our contacts here. We have coils and the coils will, uh, uh, we can do the same thing. We can drag them down. We have math instructions. So add, subtract, multiply, divide, and we have move. We have our compare instructions. We, that's the greater than, less than, greater or equal, less than equal, equal or not equal to instructions. We have timer and counters. So on delay, off delay, retentive, count up, count down, resets. And then under other, we have our save. So we will save it so that we have a unique URL. We have an add rung, we have a branch rung, and we have a trash. So, so again, we just drag these symbols down as we need it. If it's blue, you just click them and they will then uh, do the function for you. So if we go back to, uh, we'll go to a math instruction. And there's my variable here. Um, and then we'll add a, we'll do an add instruction. So we'll go down just to when it uh, uh, creates that blue line and hit enter. You'll notice that my, uh, my area here now increases to accommodate the new size of uh, rungs that we have. So under the variable here, what we're going to select is the start button. And under the add, we need a couple of variables, but we don't need Boolean variables. We actually need number variables. So let's go, uh, we'll call this variable one and we'll hit add and we'll call this variable two. We'll hit add. Now we have two
two numbers. The first number, we'll select it as 1. And we'll leave variable 2 as 0. So let's go over here. We will select variable 1. We'll add it to variable 2. And we'll store it at variable 2. So now we can test our logic that we just um, uh, performed. So if we hit the start button, of course our motor oh, comes on. But our variable, you'll see here, we have every time the start is on, it's adding one to variable two and starting at variable two. So what we've indirectly done is just created a, uh, a counter that's counting the scan time of our logic. So every time our logic uh, goes, uh, starts scanning through the, the program and the start button's on, it's still adding one. So you can see my scan time here. It's not extremely quick because we're talking about uh, logic in a browser, but you can see that it performs exactly as a PLC would. So programs get scanned uh, left to right, top to bottom. So we can turn that off. Now, in order to make sure that that doesn't count every t every single scan, we have to come up with a, um, a one-shot to control or add. And the one-shot will only enable things to be added on the leading edge or from a signal from off to on. So if we look, I've got a pre-made one that enables a one-shot. And what I've called it is one-shot. And again, we have this add instruction, which adds variable one to variable two and stores a variable two. So in this case here, you'll see under my uh, start button, what we do is we hit start it goes through the, the normally closed work bit, turns on the one shot. The one shot then um, is energized. The start button is still energized, so the work bit comes on. The one shot then fires our add instruction. Then very next scan, the start button is still on. The work bit now is on so that was off so the shot one shot then turns off so that's the basic principles of how the one shot works so let's give it a shot and uh, we'll turn that on and what you'll notice is that things start flashing a little bit and my variable um, two now is only added once so let's turn that off turn it on again and again it goes to two so again my one shot is working exactly as we thought it would the next one we have to look at is um, our flip-flop. Again, the flip-flop, how it will work is when I hit the uh, start button, it will um, take an output and an output's on. And then when I hit the output again, or the input again, it will then turn that output off and another one on. So it flip-flops between one input, two outputs. So let's, let's give that a shot. We turn that on, and I sure enough, it flop out to what number two comes on. Turn that off again, turn it back on, and then flip flop um, number one now is on. In this case here, we're using latches and unlatches. Now, again, you can see that this is a very uh, interesting um, way of doing some testing of your program, and um, it's it would be very helpful when you're in the field, you want a quick little logic or show or demonstrate someone uh, some circuitry. Now, they're constantly changing PLC fiddle, so check back often. And I've noticed they're working on some help files that, that will help you go through the whole the lessons and figure out the timers and counters, etc. So, um, now, I've liked this enough that I've included into our PLC beginner's guide that's located on our web. If you go to our our PLC programming and then PLC beginner's guide, you'll see this. And the, and the beginner's guide actually goes through all the basic concepts, such as numbering systems and inputs and outputs, your PLC program scans, wiring of inputs, output, analog sensors. Then we get into the PLC languages. This is where the PLC fiddle then comes in. We then go into how to develop PLC code and how to structure some of your logic and the steps needed to do that. Then we create HMIs and talk about communication. So it's a complete beginner's guide right from the start to the finish. It's quite extensive and it should help you out. 
So if you like, if all the links and documentation of this uh, can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. If you like this video and like to see more, there are uh, three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video or you can go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You will also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.